Let's talk about the time Batman refused to save the Joker. During this massive event called Joker War, Joker managed to steal all of Bruce Wayne's assets, becoming a billionaire. Through the Joker becoming a billionaire, he would send Gotham City into chaos. On top of this, Joker knowing Batman's identity to be Bruce Wayne, he would also steal Alfred's body from his grave and puppeteer his dead body to mess with Batman. Along with this, Joker also put on a more advanced Batman suit, making him capable of actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. Meeting at the place where it all began, Ace Chemicals, Batman says to Joker that Gotham will be retaken very soon. But running into Alfred being puppeteered by Joker, this throws Batman off completely, thinking that it's not even real. Until the Joker from behind tries to shoot him by surprise. Luckily, Batman leaps out of the way with Alfred's body as Joker begins to say, what, is it the outfit, or do you not like my present? I thought you loved your butler. After Batman chucks a battering to disarm Joker of his gun, Joker looks into his utility belt and shows Batman some of the changes he's made to his gadgets. As he begins to throw several explosive Joker rings at Batman and Alfred's dead body. Once the explosive Joker rings go off near several acid vats, it nearly douses Batman in acid, killing him. Nearly getting doused in acid, Batman grapples away at the last second as Alfred's dead body keeps saying repeatedly that he hates him. After grappling away to a catwalk, he tries to inform Oracle of what's going on, but Joker surprisingly attacks him from behind, saying that he can't cheat and he killed the radio. Otherwise, all those little weird orphans would just hear him scream because he's getting stabbed to death. But through the sheer adrenaline of getting stabbed, Batman sucker punches Joker in the face, telling him to shut up. Afterwards, Batman kills the lights using his utility belt. Joker in the new and improved Batman suit says, lights out, that's no fair. Not that it'll do any good. You of all people should know, bat see in the dark. Until Batman punches the Joker so hard that the bat cowl comes off, with Batman saying, you're not a bat. But before Batman can finish the fight with Joker, Joker detonates a bomb near Batman. When Batman tries to get back up, Joker leaps in from behind and stabs Batman in the back. As Joker twists the knife further in Batman's back, he tells him that this is what all of it's been building up to, Batman and the Joker their final fight. As Joker removes the high-tech suit, he begins to mock the very suit itself, saying that this is the very armor he was going to wear when he thought Gotham was completely safe forever, right? What did you picture? Retirement? Spending long hours in the manor with robins and grand robins cooing at your feet? And the city some shining paragon? Metropolis with fewer aliens? No. That doesn't sound like Gotham, does it? Batman furious, he sidekicks Joker across the warehouse. Batman, with barely enough strength in his body, attempts to crawl to Alfred's dead corpse as Joker begins to say that he's destroyed everything that meant anything in Gotham. But Joker has just enough strength left to leap on top of Batman. Pulling out a knife, he begins to say that Bruce never understood Gotham like he did. He doesn't even live in Gotham, he lives in the broody castle. The whole idea of Batman was just a stupid little kid's dream, and now Joker has made Gotham see just how stupid Batman really is. And when Joker's done slashing up Bruce Wayne's face, he'll be completely unrecognizable even as Batman. But before he can slash up Bruce's face, he gets shot directly in the right eye, as the shooter is revealed to be Harley Quinn. After shooting the Joker, she says that that was pretty cathartic as she begins to handcuff him to a pole. After doing so, Harley Harley Quinn reaches into a backpack with a bomb in it and tells Batman that they're going to play a game and Batman is going to make a decision. After Harley Quinn wraps a bomb around her chest, she asks Batman, What kind of city do you want Gotham to be? Do you want it to be the one where Joker knows he can get away with anything and everything and you're always going to let him slide? Or do you want to change the game? You only have enough time to get one of us. Who's it going to be? Batman, with little to no time left, he tries to tell Joker that he can disarm his own bomb if he took one of the gadgets from the next-gen Batsuit. But Joker just says to Batman, No, that's not how this works. You're going to have to save me yourself. You're not going to risk my dying and leave your butler's body to roast with me. And following this, the two share a look of utter disdain for each other. And Batman just walks off, choosing to let Joker die. Joker in utter disbelief, he can't believe Batman's walking away, so he begs him to come back. But as he's doing so, Alfred begins to laugh uncontrollably, until the warehouse ultimately explodes. After a whole week, Harley Quinn would awake, saying that she had the weirdest fucking dream. Batman, glad to hear that Harley Quinn is okay, he tells her that he had to bury his father again today, and that he did it with family, adding that from here on out, everything in Gotham will be harder than ever, but that Batman thinks he can face it head on, and he thinks that he can be a better man. A better Batman. Ending the story. I hope you guys like this video, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you on the flip side.